hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video the essay we are going to be looking at is study outline and objectives during the award so if you've not seen the previous essay i've read i've read my development impact essay so check that out and then let's get into this video for this essay you're going to be asked to provide a short outline of your study so basically what they are simply asking you is how you your program is going to run during the period of your study and remember this is just going to be about 200 words so it has to be in summary so start with the course you're going to study tell them the course you're going to study the university you're planning to study at and tell them the importance of the course you're going to do and how it's going to help you achieve your goals you can break it down in different parts one you can state your coursework and how long it's going to take for instance i'll be taking I'll be studying public administration in the University of Essex and it will last for so so time. I'll be taking some courseworks like X, Y, and Z, which will last for a period of 10 months. And the core courses, uh, the core modules I'll take are um, MPH 411, which would be talking about blah, 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 blah. And at the end, I'll be doing a dissertation. If you know the number of what, maybe a 20,000 word dissertation, which um, I would expect to present at the end of the day da, da, da. so just like a brief summary of how you're going to carry out your study starting from classroom work down to your final project i hope this makes sense so you can pause this video take a screenshot of you know the outline i have used for mine this is not perfect and please do not copy and paste but this will just you know give you an overview or a guideline to write your own i hope you understand the next question they're going to ask you is to give a detailed plan of your study so remember in the first question they asked you to give a brief outline that is a summary of how your study is going to run but here is where you begin to expand and flesh it out the more so this one contains more um word count and in this one you mentioned the core modules you're going to take and the major skills you're going to learn from those modules you can talk about your dissertation this is very important in fact i would advise that you talk about a dissertation topic that you already have in mind and tell them how this is important and how it's going to benefit the public it doesn't mean that this is the exact topic you're going to um uh, doing your dissertation but having an idea and telling them that you're already thinking about your dissertation you know it makes it look legit and you can tell them how you're going to collect your data so it's important to maybe just browse about a dissertation topic about the methodology you're going to use and how you're going to interpret and analyze your result this is really important it it makes your your essay very um it, it makes your essay look really good and makes them know that you've really thought about these things and you know exactly what you want to do during your master's program and if you hope to publish your work which i hope you want to this is time to mention it tell them you are going to publish your work at the end of the day and this is going to help you distribute the knowledge that you've gained and you know let other people know that this is something you've done so also you can pause this video at this um, point take a screenshot just go through mine see how it helps you write yours please again do not copy and paste this is just a guideline or an overview okay the next part of this video is going to be objectives during the award as usual they're going to ask you you know the objective what are your objectives during the period of this award so you tell them what you hope to learn from the modules and please always be specific one thing i noticed that really makes your essay stand out is when you call the names or mention the names of the modules you're going to take when you mention the names of some of your lecturers it shows that you have done your research you know about this school you know exactly what you're going to be studying at this school so you, that's why i always advise against using one essay even if you're applying to for let's say public health to three schools don't use the same essay make some changes make sure you're mentioning names of specific modules and you know lecturers in each of those schools it shows that you are really interested and you're not just sending applications for the sake of it so tell them the skills you hope to gain from the modules or the laboratory practicals if you're going to be doing that. Tell them you're going to build networks, you're going to volunteer in student leadership. This is really important because they just they don't just want you to, you know, just go there and study. They also want you to be able to mentor other scholars who will come after you. Again, be very optimistic. Tell them you intend to graduate on time and to graduate with the best grade possible. 
be very very specific again you can pause this video look at the essay that i've written and i hope this helps you with yours please do not copy and paste i'll keep on putting this as a disclaimer this is just a guide please use it wisely uh if you've not seen the other videos i've read i've done about reading my essays i've read my development impact essay i'm also going to be reading my um personal statement make sure you check out the videos if you've not subscribed at this point i don't know what you're waiting for many of you who are watching my videos are not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to the channel like this video share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next one bye Bye.